What is up guys, Dr. Chinshipper here for a new video on Borderlands 3. So I've played a little bit of this game, maybe about, mm, about an hour into it. And uh, honestly, you know, it feels extremely smooth. Smoother than the last two, or last three. About these little COV statues. Ugh, the children of the vault have been leaving these suck butt COV statues all over the place. So apparently this guy what? used to be a... gods and make our own idols. In my image, yeah, good idea. From <laughs> chiseled jaw to legendary calves. First off, go find all my wanted posters. P.S. Oh, wow. Very wanted. Yeah, so this guy was... We're gonna need those to... pictures of me to feed into the 3D scanner thing. Then we can start printing out the statues that look like he's dead. <laughs> that'll oh, really man. kick off the calypso. So that dude was apparently a leader of one of the little gangs that they got going around in Pandora. Again. So I had to go uh, rescue him. You know, so the little break thing of the story is, is Lilith found a map that, you know, is for <laughs> loot. Some crazy loot. I don't know exactly what the loot's for. But, you know, it's just... So it's just like, you know, very powerful loot that, you know, and it's not just one vault that they're going to find that has loot, it's multiple. So she had a map and then they lost it to the raiders. So that guy had the map for whatever reason, I guess we'll find out when we get more into it. And so there's these guys called the twins and they're apparently taking over all of the land. And so they are somehow intertwined in this whole scheme right now. And so currently we're trying to stop them from like, I guess, like, the, like his people are supposed to be, the guy's people that I rescued are supposed to be giving the twins the, what is it? They're supposed to be giving the twins the map to, you know, to all the vaults in Pandora. So, you know, that's, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to stop them. But, you know, as far as everything else, like guns, shooting, shooting with the guns, you know, character, everything feels super smooth. So that road will take you the only right thing the that's difficult center. is driving these Watch cars. Watch so-called twin gods. From what I hear, Tyree Calypso is the star of the show. Her brother Troy runs the cult's propaganda. P.S. They both suck. Just saying. Exactly. Yeah, so they're twins, apparently. I'll see them in a little bit. But so far, I have, uh... I don't have that much gear, but... I haven't played with anybody. But, you know, honestly... I think this is a great game. I think a lot of people should pick it up. You know, if, if you know, you're budget-friendly, you don't want to spend too much money. I spent $100 on it, because I got the Super Deluxe version but you know honestly I don't regret the purchase I did play uh, Mom Warfare and I was not impressed at all about that but we're not gonna get into that but you know I'm enjoying this game there are a lot of guns so far I've picked up a lot of guns and I'm not even that far into the game they're all different. They all have different, like things, like different attributes and whatnot. Greetings, chum. How does the day find you? Hey, Vault Hunter. Some bandit did the unthinkable. He stole a pair of my undies. Those are my trademark Hyperion red bars. Damn it! Do you know how hard it is to get your hands on those down here? Go murder him horribly. I'm gonna need that mighty cap. Oh, no, no. I couldn't possibly part with it. Not right now. You'll have to destroy the mind control transmission dishes first. They're beaming voices into my brain. You heard the man. Destroy those transmission dishes. I need that hat. And apparently, clap chat. <laughs> so Lilith runs uh, like this little cult. It's like, you know, the vault hunters, like little clan. And apparently Claptrap is the general of it. <laughs> I don't know who decided that, but you know, I guess he's in charge of us. So 
Look at this so far. Graphics wise, everything seems cleaner than it has been in the past Borderlands games. Running around and everything, you know, seems super smooth. You, now you can slide as, you know, people already know. It's not, it's not that big of a deal, but it's not a bad thing at all, honestly. I, I do find this enjoyable. There we go, we got it online. Cool. So currently, we are currently trying to get over on to, oh, over here. This is where we're supposed to be headed to. There are a lot of things, so things may get confusing, to be honest. Because I'm still super confused about a lot of things. But I guess the more you play around with the game, the more you'll know. these have rockets on them and then so whenever you find the cars and you take them apart you can salvage new gear Ugh, hate the Calypso twins. and so to much. enhance your cars and then we also have a new vendor stuff, right? so we obviously we had the two these two but there's a third I've one that sells guns myself, only. And I guess they're like special guns or something like that. They're sold by uh, just a new vendor. I mean, look, my clan only accepted me as a leader after I killed a guy with just my app. So imagine what it takes to unite all the clans together. You'd need like a 20 pack. 18 said, bare mins. I know my clan betrayed me, but if the Calypsos mess with my Sun Smashers, then we have got a blood feud on our hands. Which would be awesome! A while since I got a good old fashioned blood feud going. 4 and 0, oh, baby! Good and hey! As you see, I just jacked someone's car. This is how you get new, like. This is how you get new equipment for your car. So you have to steal it. Yeah, so that's how you get new equipment for your cars and whatnot. You have to jack cars and uh, I don't know what else. It just says you have to jack the cars. So return to catch ride for the vehicle parts. So that's all you have to do. But like I said, driving is a little difficult in this game. So oh, sweet, got new parts, like I said. All you have to do is just take the cars. And then do this. So let's see what we got. So you have different paint jobs. Uh, I guess some unlock because of, you know, whatever you, whichever one you decide to purchase. Oh, no. Oh, no. I guess they wander around a lot. Uh, also, there's two difficulties to choose from. You can play on recruit, or you can play on what they call uh, what is it? normal, which is, I guess, the you know, they say that's the one you're supposed to be playing on. You know, recruit is just if you want to play like through normally with no difficulty. But yeah, so they have different armors for it. They have different tires for it. They have different mods for it. Uh, what is it? Turret guns. Have no clue currently how to unlock them. The only way it's saying really is to salvage in the cars and you get different things for it. Also, there's different. Oh, this is gonna happen again. Look at me. I'm the driver. Yeah, there's a lot more activity than there was in past Borderlands games, I can tell you that for sure. I think just if you've played Borderlands before, you know, it's going to give you a very, you know, 
comfortable sensation like you've played it before but at the same time it's gonna feel like a something new you know it does not feel like the old borderlands at all graphics wise you can see everything's been fine-tuned and it's a lot better the guns how they shoot you know that I felt a lot more difference than there was before but the thing is is I think I don't know I haven't really I've had a bunch of the guns I haven't any, had any assault rifles or uh, any of the other special guns but so far I mean a lot of the guns don't really have recoil you know I don't know if that people really care about that but you know so we're gonna go save the map Come on in. It's funny. But, um, yeah. Let's keep going with it. I might make a video on my thoughts about the model for beta, but I don't think that'll be today. But, you know, I think we're playing the same Borderlands that, you know, we have been looking at you know just just different content and that's that's good you want to feel familiar but not you know like i don't feel like they lost their way at all with this game it still has a lot of secrets so these are one of the chests that have most of the time weapons in it or sometimes they have money but most of the time they have like different types of weapons like let's see like yeah like example it'll have a weapon in it most for mo for the most part i've gotten cash but the last couple of times I've opened those, it's always been a weapon. Now, sometimes they vary with, you know, it's just a random loot, you know, drop. So, it could be super rare, it could be not so rare at all, you know, it just depends. So, let's see. Uh, oh, so, they, they added this in. <laughs> Oh yeah, you tend to run out of ammo a lot, so it's always good to you know purchase uh, some ammo if you if you if you have the cash. I haven't really spent my money on anything. Hasn't really been anything. I bought like a shield that was decent. And of course, this sells the gun. This sells the grenades as usual with the ammo, as we all know. Mm hmm. Hmm. No questions asked. Always a pleasure. <laughs> I do like how this time around I feel like most of the or the different people are, you know each character has unique traits of course we already knew that but I like how they feel more useful than before like not, not everyone's gonna be running siren and that's what I noticed a lot about the other ones a lot of people oh man that was bad. a lot of people use siren a lot and there's nothing wrong with that but there's just other ones. There's just other characters to choose from. So, shooting. And that's the boost for the cars. Wanna go save the map? Is we gotta go get, we're gonna get Dora boots too.
it, this game is all is always shine when you play with your friends so it's not gonna that's something that's not gonna this game is not gonna shy away it, it's always gonna feel like it's meant to play with co-op with friends because it, it's not it's not as fun honestly but it's still fun I mean, but it's all this game is for sure shines through in co-op so if you ever have a friend or make sure you get to, picks up the game or you know when black friday comes around if you're really not sure about this game you know for sure this should be one of the things you guys pick up especially you can get the season passes when they're, they're gonna have different worlds you can still go to so like i said before you run out of ammo extremely fast Look at this, I'm already down to... And now they also have women raiders too. And then so for this, you can pick this up. And it can be on me. And then when I throw that, that's my decoil. He can also shoot and create damage for enemies too. Back on the gore. So you tend to run on that ammo really fast. Man, looks like it's time down. the way there's still a lot of people Oof. a lot of the pistols are uh, automatic by the way too I was very interested in the the beast hunter. I thought it'd be cool to tame the other beasts. I'm doing what I love. Oh, 
Look at that. Look at his face. There's so much detail to put into this game. I'm just... I'm just happy to play it, honestly. I hope it's, it turns into one of the games that I just... I just love coming home and playing. Which I think it will be. Especially when they drop all the other DLC. It's gonna be fun. Super fun. Money, all this money. That's a weapon. Like this one has money in it. Like I said, this one's gonna have a gun in it. Boom. What I said. All right. Alright, well, I'll show this in probably the next video, but thanks for checking this out. Just a little breakdown of the game. Like I said, I think it's something worth checking out. If you're having second thoughts, just check out the next video I'm going to post on this game. It's probably going to be more about, you know, this boss as I'm about to fight. So, thanks for checking it out, and see you later.